Hey everyone, it's Meg and we are back with more Batman the Animated Series and today I have a feeling it's going to be a really fun time because the episode is called Harlequinade. So I assume it's about our little Harlequin, Harley Quinn, Zell. Yay! I'm so excited. I don't know. I hope you're doing well. I'm hyped. These episodes have been so good. Season two of Batman and Superman have just been bangers back to back. So I'm super hyped. Oh, also want to let you know that the next animated movie I plan on watching is uh, Green Lantern Emerald Knights, I think. I'm so sorry if that's wrong, but I did really like the first Green Lantern movie that I watched. So I would like to watch all of them if I can. Um, let me know if you're excited for that. And yeah, let's get started. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. That's probably going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> I don't know. I just love her. <laughs> ah, she, I get the what murder meme. One million, two million, three million, five. Gentlemen, <laughs> yours to pick clean or blow sky high. Your call. I would love if she was in the bomb. How about nothing? Zero, zip, zilch, not the first national bank of Squadoom. <laughs> yes, gibberish. This lot is sold. Oh. <laughs> oh. I mean, you were selling a bomb. Oh. Have a laugh now and then. It's true. <laughs> oh, that'll that'll do. Oh, that's so much more pleasant. We don't even know if the bomb's still in Gotham. Keep me posted if you find anything. We'll have to think like him or recruit someone who does. Harley. <sighs> I'm glad she gets bubble gum in jail. She deserves it. Miss Quinn. <laughs> what a good shot. You choked on her bubblegum. Don't you knock before entering a lady's boudoir. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. I recommend a lobotomy. Yes, her psychiatrist expertise. You help me find the Joker and they'll write your ticket out of here. <laughs> if you promise no double cross. <laughs> ah, shoot! Take all the fun out of life. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, I promise. Shake. Uh oh, is it a buzz? Oh, okay. The grim, stalwart Dark Knight and his greatest female adversary fighting together to save the city. Yes. Um, where can I read maybe some fan fiction of them two together? I sense a lack of trust. Asking for a friend. Sure you don't need I sense any a lack of trust. Be under control. <laughs> I'm fine. Also, her and um, Nightwing. I want to listen to the radio. Don't. <laughs> she is so me for real. <laughs> Touch anything. Oh. Say anything <laughs> or do anything unless I tell you. Got it? Yes, sir. I made her scared. <laughs> I want you to show me the last place he used when he escaped. Okay. <laughs> her mannerisms are so good, and this is a cartoon. It's so awesome. This used to be our special love nest. <laughs> yeah, what? around while I slip into something more comfortable. Voice acting is so good. I miss them too. Oh, the doggies were here? <laughs> Tell them to get down, Harley. They love you. They don't even love Joker as much as they love you. Uh, I feel like a human being again. <laughs> Hi, babies. Mommy's home. Yay. That's my unit and boomy. <laughs> Are you the sweetest baby? Yes. <laughs> Where did you get that bone? Joker has the whole city wired. He's a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Why 
When I was a doctor, I was always listening to other people's problems. Then I met Mr. J, who listened to me for a change and made everything fun. <laughs> yeah. You think it's funny when he hurts people? It's just a joke. Hope you're still laughing when it's your turn. Hmm. Hmm. Is that a heart apple on a stick? That's the best character explanation for Harley Quinn ever. And it's, it's that simple. It's really cute. It's really cute. Grab on. I can do it myself. Thank yes. You. Oh. Ha ha. Ow. Oh, so cute. I want to draw that. Sneak, sneak, sneak. <laughs> sneak. This is me in Assassin's Creed. What do you mean? Shh. No one's been in this dump for years. <laughs> Sneak, sneak, sneak. <laughs> oh. Hey guys, look who I got. Very nice. Hi, Boxy. Long time no see. Oh. Holly Quinn. What you doing with the bat? Oh, come on. You don't think I was working with Batman. You do it right, sugar. <laughs> they underestimate her. Especially when there are suave guys like me around. Ew. Now, Boxy. But gee, what relationship doesn't have its ups and downs? <laughs> ha! Are you gonna sing? A flat. Yes! I never knew that our romance had ended until you poisoned my food. <laughs> I never knew that you and I were finished until that bottle hit my head. Oh. When you pushed me off the roof. <gasps> I feel our romance is dead. But if you had told me that someone had taken my place, <laughs> no, you didn't even scold me. You just tried to disfigure my face. <laughs> You'll never know how this heart of mine is breaking. Won't you please put down that acid and say that we're sweethearts again? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm emotional. <laughs> Just lost a lot of these beautiful actors from the show recently. It's really sad. That was the perfect song for them. <laughs> We're all working together. And she really is working with them. The whole point was to... I mean, I think she's being an air sign and fluid, but she does want to find Joker ultimately, and she's working with them. <laughs> <Bats away! laughs> yes! Did you see the way I handled those creeps? Yeah. Back girl, eat your heart out. What was she before she went bonkers? A clinical psychiatrist. Yes. <laughs> Figures. Yeah, literally. I love this. This is the best thing. You know how hard it is as someone who studied psychology? Ugh, I love it. I'm sorry, I'm crying. <laughs> 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 I love her laugh was like sing songy just then. Oh, I love that shot. <laughs> the rubber ducky, iconic. See, do I know how Mr. J thinks or what? Yes, you do. <laughs> you thought I was just another bubble headed blonde bimbo. Well, the joke's on you. I'm not even a real blonde. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good job. Huh? I didn't know that. I love that. 
<laughs> She's not a real blonde. I can't risk you warning the Joker. Would I do a thing like that? <laughs> Boy, you just can't trust some people. <laughs> Like a moonlight dip, eh, Mr. Mayor? <laughs> Please. Oh, no ransom this time, Hammy. <laughs> Hammy. But all those innocent people. Some joke on them, eh? No. <laughs> <laughs> Ouchie. That's sharp. Oh, nice. He loves unconventional weapons. If he was in D&D, he would use the improvised weapon thing a lot. Yeah. That's such a creepy sky. Oh. Oh. <gasps> she outsmarted you. Also, oh, she's going to have her romance with you. What you find in people's glove compartments? <laughs> Holly? Hi. Oh. Oh. Escape from Arkham. Batman sprung me so I could find you. They're so cute. Oh, <laughs> Quinn. <we had laughs> Did no one ever said anything about hurting Mr. J? Oh, yeah. That was the sweetest shot of them. Like, he really was looking at her and empathizing with her. Don't nobody go in my comments and judge me, okay? They're cute. Sometimes. <laughs> we'll get to a safe altitude, then watch the fireworks. Oh. It's lucky you were here, Harley. The countdown sequence didn't leave Joker enough time to swing by Arkham and pick you up. Quiet, Brett. <laughs> you were gonna come back for me, weren't you, Puddin? Oh. Of course, Pumpkin. But what about all our friends? Ivy and Two-Face? Yeah! Guy and Lizard Man and Puppet Head and... What about them? <laughs> Don't forget your little pets. <laughs> the babies! You can't leave the babies! I'll buy you a goldfish! Let's go! No! Why, you little... <laughs> yes! You don't deserve her! <laughs> Not the babies! I love how Batman knew how to get her back <laughs> into it. You little shit! You do not deserve her. Oh my god. You had to get your outfit ready. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> what about your pets? <laughs> no pets. I got a crazy idea. Mr. J may not be the guy for me after all. <laughs> He's like, you just made this so much harder for me. <laughs> and to Robin's credit, too, he, he did say, he did put it into her head. Like, he wasn't going to pick you up. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you gonna get jealous? Go around again! I love that her first thing was Ivy and Two-Face. You have the most perfect girl in the world. I need a comic or a story that's like he changes from her and they become anti-heroes together. Cause I think without, if Joker was a little bit, oh, more like morally good, they could be anti-heroes together. That's, I feel like that is her instinct she's so mad hmm. that bomb's going off even if i go with it <laughs> yeah we know we know you don't care about dying Laugh this off. put in put in <laughs> oh uh-huh Such good music. Oh my god, that was mainly Harley. Oh, he made it. Beautiful art. <laughs> you done messed it now. Scorned woman. I love scorned Harley. Freeze, clown. Quinn, stop! He's my bet! He wouldn't dare. No. Oh. Not in a million years, would you? <sighs> <laughs> I 
Oh, she really did? She didn't know it was that? She shot him! Yes! I love it! She was gonna shoot him! Yes! <gasps> Baby, you're the greatest! She is. But you don't fully understand that. But you're so cute when you're good in this show. Oh, the heart! Yeah! <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. Oh, that was definitely my top three, if not my favorite episode. I know I always say that. <laughs> but that really was. It made me like cry nonstop. I'm <laughs> I'm sorry. I just it's so wild because I feel like we lost so many beautiful actors so soon. Too soon. Too early. And Arlene, it's just it's so crazy to me that this character was supposed to just be one of Joker's thugs and that's all she was going to be and she gave it such life and um, character that this is just a really <laughs> a really funny wonderful lovable villain in the DCU like just one of the most famous almost everyone knows Harley Quinn like you know the Joker and Batman and I love that episode because it just explains her psychology very simply. And I had been doing all these mental gymnastics to try to understand. And um, it's really as simple as she was overworked <laughs> and worked in like the psychology in a psychology field, learned all about the inner workings of a brain and her the essence of her character is to not overthink it. Some people are just evil. Some people choose to go down a more va violent, like morally bad route because they just do. And it's as simple as he, she spent so many years listening to other people's problems and listening to other people and them talking at her to the Joker coming in and listening to her and he was fun he's just fun and it really does speak to me and a lot of people because it's hard to be mentally aware all the time and especially you know as a young girl you're taught that you're like you're gifted and you have you know this high intelligence and you have to have your empathy on all the time and just the thought of letting go and someone taking you for a ride and showing like the fun aspects of the world and you don't have to worry about right or wrong morals stuff like that it's just it's really empowering and exhilarating and I just love her character for that I feel like a lot of us especially women but even men can just live vicariously through her like yeah what if I don't you know I got straight A's in school and this 4.0 GPA and you know, I performed academically so well. And what if I just said F it all and let myself have a mental breakdown and let myself fall for a psychopath, basically, you know? And um, because I think the reason why her character is so good is that there's so much choice involved. And I think this episode showed that. It's different from a typical abusive relationship. Certainly there's there's toxicity and stuff going on. But I like it and you can kind of enjoy the good parts because she she's choosing it. Like she she enjoys the whirlwind of it. Like I feel like <laughs> this version of Harley likes to, you know, be a joker and then go back to to poison ivy and whether or not that's romantic or just friendship, she loves her in whatever way you want. And they're just like, there's just a lot of empowerment in the fact that you know this is the life she wants because she had that other assimilated, good civilian life. And I'm not saying it's right or excusing it. Obviously, it's Batman. I don't think I need to like defend myself, but I think that's just why we have so much fun watching it and why. It doesn't, there are some iterations and adaptations of her character in Joker that are a bit too, like Joker's the one in power and he's abusing her and controlling her that just don't sit 
well for me because I'm like, okay, we most of us get it. We know what that looks like. We see it a lot. We, we're aware. But what about a relationship like this where they're both crazy and, you know, it's one of those rare instances where they're kind of equally as toxic, except she loves him. You know, she freaking loves him. Um, but I just love at the end that she she meant to kill him. She shot him thinking that there was a bullet in there. <laughs> I just freaking love that. I don't think he would do that to her. <laughs> like, she was just like, you're done. Bye. And he said, you don't have the guts. Like, he was egging her on. And she shot him. And everyone except her, like Batman, Robin, and Joker, were like, phew. Because they knew. She thought there was a bullet in there. And she was, like, sh shocked that it was a joke. But then again, it's just that choosing to be together despite that toxicity. It's just really fun. And it takes out a lot of the like, oh, well, we have to worry about her. She's being manipulated. No, there's so much choice and like authority in herself. And it's just, it's lovely to see. I love her mannerisms. I love her voice actor, obviously. There's just no one else for me. Well, obviously, like I haven't seen Margot Robbie's version, but I do love Margot Robbie, but she's the OG. She is Harley Quinn and the childness, childishness to her voice, but also when she's mad, like getting into that lower register and grumbling and stuff. Um, and also the very uh, like mature jokes all of a sudden, like the... I'm not a natural, joke's on you, I'm not a natural blonde. Like, that was so hilarious. Um, and I also loved watching her interact with Batman. That's a dynamic I really want to explore, but I want it to be done well because it was just so funny because he, I already call him a babysitter. Like, I feel like he goes out at night and babysits the villains, but even just even more so with her, He's trying to you know, give her rules and lay down the law, and it's just hilarious. They're really funny together, and her and Robin and Batman. I'm pretty sure people told me when I played the Arkham games that Harley and Nightwing have a fling together at some point. I don't know if it's just in the Arkhamverse, but that'd be interesting. Um, she's just like a funny character to see... She's someone who I feel like has a really big heart and can romance pretty much anyone and love anyone. And so I will accept pretty much any love story with her because I feel like she'd showcase a, f a fun side of them. Um, I don't know. I'd just die for her. I love her. <laughs> and I love her original outfit. It's just so cute. I want to get a cosplay version of her original her original costume. Um, the music was so good. Mark Hamill, of course, was just so good. And he's so, Joker's so frustrating, but he's so funny. And I just love the way that this was drawn and animated. I love the way he holds her and laugh at me all you want, but like it's with real love. Like I do believe that Joker loves Harley as much as he can. I think he loves Batman as much as he can. I feel like probably Batman's up a little bit higher than Harley, which is sad, but it's true. But I feel like he just, he loves her at his capacity. And then if you look at Harley, her heart is just so big and she loves him so much. But this was just the best version of her for me because as soon as Batman and Robin mention what about your pets? What about your friends? <laughs> they know her better than Joker does. You know, like, that, those are her babies. She loves Pam so much. That is something that I haven't seen in other adaptations, and I haven't seen a lot of the movies and stuff, so maybe I'm speaking out of turn or too early, but it just feels different from what I think the general idea and even stigma of Harley Quinn is, because she prioritizes her other people, too. Like, what about Two-Face? What about, what about Poison Ivy? Like, you know, you can't blow them up. And he's just like, I'll get you a goldfish. Oh, I can't wait to watch this again. It's so good. Um, but yeah, they're, 
just the way that she cuddled up to him. It's just beautifully acted, beautifully drawn and animated. Oh, it was so cute. Like, I'm probably going to make that my phone wallpaper. I'm going to draw it myself because it just so precious. And then also the lighting in that last scene where she's going to shoot him and, you know, the orange... Ah, it's just so beautiful as I'm learning to draw myself to notice the lighting in this. It's such a great study for me and I appreciate it even more because it was like the bomb lighting and at sunset it was so good. Um, everyone underestimates Harley. Even Joker underestimates her. He was egging her on. He was like, you don't have the guts because I don't think he actually believed it. And I love that she surprises people and even surprises herself because she's she's amazing. <sighs> Rest in peace, Arlene. You are freaking queen. Oh my God, I can't. Um, thank you so much to my tier four patrons, Light Yagami and John G. Robinson for producing this video and all my other channel members and patrons. I appreciate y'all so much. And I just love watching these shows. Thank you for providing, you know, the monetary support for me to just you know, watch these things and analyze them and feel like people want to hear my thoughts. I love hearing your thoughts too. So please give them to me. Um, join the Patreon if you wish to watch along. I will warn you, it's a lot of tears um, or the YouTube membership. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching these reactions on YouTube and boosting the algorithm. Go ahead and like if you liked this video and subscribe, turn notifications on, drink water. And I'll see you for the next Batman animated episode. Love you. Bye.